happened is August 1st, Friday, August 1st, we, we moved into Unit 814 of 12 Laidlaw. Uh, we moved from Ottawa and we were all excited. We move into our place and we walk in the door and it's just so hot in here. Like the thermostat's at 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. And we were like, well, let's just turn the air conditioner on. And we for we tried everything and we could not get the air conditioner on. We asked our neighbors, like, if there, there's some secret thing we need to know about the air conditioners in this unit. And they didn't, they mm -hmm. couldn't get it running either. Um, so eventually I came to the conclusion that it must be broken. So we started calling, just, we Googled heating and air repair in Toronto and I called probably four or five places and they all wanted to know what kind of furnace it, it, is it. And all I would say is, well, it's a townhouse, it's on the third floor. And they would say, oh, it's a high velocity furnace. We don't deal with those. That's and okay. I, I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, well, <laughs> well, who does deal with them? I'm like, I don't know. Most, most companies don't. And then eventually I called you and you put me in touch with Vladimir. Who, it's a master technician. Yes, and he called back right away. And at this point, it was like 7:30 on a Friday. Mm -hmm. So understandably, he asked if he could come tomorrow morning, which I was okay with. And he came first thing in the morning, and he was here for over three hours, and he tried everything possible to get it right, mm -hmm. and nothing would work. And he came to the conclusion that the integrated board was was shot. Um, and the, the company's name and number was on the furnace in there in Mississauga. So we thought, okay, if the supplier's in Mississauga, it shouldn't be a problem to get a replacement part. But this was Saturday now of the August long weekend, so nothing opens till Tuesday. So that was a pain because we had to live in this really hot place for the weekend. And, you know, when you have dogs that aren't good in heat, it's, it's frustrating. It's like you have to go to your car to, like, cool them off because it has air conditioning. Right. Anyways, so we wait till Tuesday. Vladimir, from what I understand, had a really hard time. We have to say it was probably a long weekend, right? It was long weekend or no? Yeah, it was, it was August long, long weekend. Also was long weekend. Yeah, yeah so we had some delay to, because of that. Yeah, so we had to wait till Tuesday instead of Monday because everything was closed on Monday. Um, so from what I understand, it was really hard for him to get through to the company. They they took a long time to get back to him. And finally, Wednesday, they told him that he could get a part, but he had to drive out and get it. And it was going to be very expensive, like over $300. Plus, we had to pay, I mean, rightfully so. We, if he was going to go get it, we would have to pay his travel and his time. And then, you know, every time he comes, we have to pay because, I mean, he's giving us his time. Mm -hmm. um, so rightfully so, we're having to pay for those service calls. Then. Thursday, he comes back with the piece. He has a piece, exciting, we're gonna like get this up and running. And again, he puts it in, and still it's not working. And But at least now that we had a working board, we could tro he could troubleshoot more and figure out the problem was outside on the actual air conditioner unit, not on the furnace. So the next day, Friday, he came back now with all the parts. Mm -hmm. and finally got it up and running. Um, but yeah, the, it took a week to, to fix. So almost one week, you yeah, you know, pretty much yeah. And thanks God, it was not uh, that that hot this summer. So yeah, like I mean, it was going up to like twenty six every day, but when you, when the sun is beating down, like it really, it would always say like twenty eight point five, twenty nine. And it's good that it was not winter, you know, winter when it's cold. Well, that's what I was saying when I was calling these companies trying to <laughs> get help. They're like, I'm like, what if this was the middle of winter and my furnace wasn't working, like, like that could be really bad. And they're like, ooh, That's, I know. And I would call, I called our property manager and he didn't know, like. Yes, yeah, so what about property manager? You remember when you called our company, we just, first of all, what was uh, our feedback? Just check with your management company if you have a, yes. if you have a stock, just yeah. for the spare parts. Yeah. Otherwise it's gonna be a long time for you to wait. Yeah, so, so we called him and he was super nice, but he, he didn't have, spare parts. He, it sounded like he hadn't really dealt with this problem before. Not either. even contractor who normally is servicing. Yeah. You know, just. yeah so it's good to mention that your house is seven, I believe seven or eight years old and the system is uh, becoming old and old right now. It's still, that's, that's why it's new for many people because the system, uh, it's on the edge of the lifespan. Uh, so, and every year this like, it's going to be more I mean, more and more. And more. Well, yeah, and there's like, I don't know how many townhouses in this yeah, this block, but there's a lot. And I figured, we can't, there's no way we're the first. 
that this no one else has dealt with this before, but um, yeah, in the end, the whole thing ended up costing us, I believe, almost nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, that's a lot of money, and it was a lot of time, and it was just a, a real pain. And yeah. thankfully, I mean, you guys fixed it, and you know, it seemed like you really actually cared, and Thanks. we're going above and beyond to get it working for us. So that was awesome. So thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt, that you found time and yeah, appreciate. Yeah. Thank um, you. So.